Good morning. Here are the Sanibel Island and Southwest Florida update as of January 9th, 2023. Sanibel's Planning Commission met on Monday, January 9th for their monthly meeting. Holly Smith, the mayor of Sanibel, started the meeting with her thoughts and feelings. The most noticeable to me was the mayor saying there has not been a caravan of traffic like the community expected. Remember, the main worry by residents who did not want the island to open was they were worried about traffic issues. They were worried that lots of looky loos would flood the island and create traffic jams. That did not happen. So far, the only report of traffic issues was on the 5th when the causeway was down to one lane due to scheduled construction. The first issue discussed at the Planning Commission is the Coastal Creek development, which is the proposed building of six single family homes on the old wastewater processing site. 20 people were sworn in to talk about this project. The speakers were a mixture of the Planning Commission, the Department of Natural Resources, the Coastal Creek Development Company that owns the site, which is now an empty lot, and Heron's Landing residents. Heron's Landing is a neighboring subdivision that has around 70 homes. The first issue that was mentioned was the Heron's Landing HOA representative tried to, dis tried to dispute the right-of-way deed. Heron's Landing has a private road that the Coastal Creek developer has a right to access due to the deed that the Heron's Landing HOA in the 1990s granted to the previous landowner. The right-of-way stays with the owner of the deed. The city lawyer pointed out that the, that the deed is legal, so there is nothing to dispute. The Department of Natural Resources talked about the contamination issue, which is the land and surrounding lakes have high concentration of nitrogen and phosphorus. DNR does not dispute future builds. They recommend the builder require future homeowners use 100% natural vegetation and no fertilizer containing nitrates. Any future soil tests will not change DNR's opinion. The high levels of heavy metals in the soil is not something that DNR would require separate remediation for. After listening to the extremely long meeting and everyone's comments and opinions, I am going to side with the developer. The developer has been working on this project since 2017 and is going above and beyond to improve the polluted land. I believe him when he says he is going to make the property better than it is currently. The builder has been working on Sanibel for years. He has built over 70 houses on the island and he seems to have Sanibel's best interests at heart. After over four hours of comments and debate, the Sanibel Planning Commission voted four to two to pass the Coastal Creek development motion. Now that the motion has passed, it will be drafted into a, re into a resolution and then reviewed at the next meeting. I believe at this point the resolution to be reviewed is just a formality and basically the developer can proceed with his building plans. Just a reminder, Fish of Sanibel Captiva is a nonprofit organization created to help everyone on the island. If you are a local in need of food assistance, remember Fish does have a food pantry open to all Sanibel residents. The food pantry received fresh produce donations this week, so if you need something, feel free to stop by their main office on Sanibel.